you what's going on youtube snipes here with tko gaming here with some rumble mayhem play oh my goodness this playlist is crazy first off i can't even imagine why somebody would like the mayhem playlist honestly man this playlist just makes me so mad and anxious when i play it but hey it's pretty cool because i guess you really don't have to be a skilled player to just go around and get kills with your super and I guess it's a great playlist to go and get better at dodging other people while they're in their super and you just have to dodge them. So, I mean, hey, I'm with like two of my friends here playing this, Candids and Primal. Thank you guys so much for taking the time and enduring this game type. I only played a couple games before I was like, yo, I can't play anymore. But I switched to the shotgun in this gameplay. It's probably not the best game mode to use the shotgun, but as you go, oh, look at that stick. But as you guys know, that uh they're nerfing shot package guys goodbye to the shotgun meta of this beautiful game we call destiny because i'm telling you guys and i've been saying it for a very long time that it is time it is time to move towards the sniper rifle guys get to it bring yourself to the great side as you guys know i introduce myself as snipes in every video and that's because Seppins, which is my in my gamer tag, TKO space Seppins, is Snipes backwards. I'm sure many of you knew that already, but if you didn't, please put in the comments below and just be honest. Who cares? No one's going to judge you because, hey, I mean, I'm, I'm still nobody, but some people like to read into things and some people don't. It doesn't make you better or worse than anyone else. But, hey, go ahead and let me know if you just figured out that Seppins is Snipes backwards. Or if you have known that for a while, let me know. I want to know who you guys are. But, you know, talking about shot package and how they're getting rid of it, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, rangefinder is still there. If you have rangefinder in your shotguns, you'll be good to go. And, you know, truthfully, I think, you know, stop. The shotguns are like, I don't think they're dead because I think the chaperone is still pretty cool, like especially when, when you can get headshots on it. I know I did a review on that shotgun and, and I didn't think it was that good, but look at that, man. Look at the shot package stuff I do in this game with this, with an old year one um, shotgun. I think it was the Matador 64. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm telling you that I'm, I'm really happy that they're getting rid of shot package and pretty much nerfing shotguns once again. And now people are going to move towards the sniper game mode. Now, what is that going to mean, mean for Destiny? Is that going to mean that people are going to start you know playing like complete bitches no, i don't know are people just gonna camp any everywhere no i like to i like to be on the move with my sniper i mean you gotta know just some tips and if you guys want some sniper tips i've been sniping in every single game ever since halo gears of war call of duty now this game if you guys want to know some sniper tips i wouldn't mind making videos on that for you guys um but here's a quick tip for you guys once you get kills in a certain location change locations because hey you just died you were highlighted on their screen they know where you are this isn't like a ghost recon game where they have to find you to kill you no they're they're gonna know where you are they're gonna come back and they're gonna they're gonna put it in your bunghole and it's gonna suck so move around you know think like your opponent like if someone sniped you you would know exactly where they are and the next thing you want to do when you spawn is go for their bunghole so keep that in mind guys that's a quick tip from me but look at that, just the shotgun is so disgusting. Oh my goodness. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm excited for this new meta, that the sniper meta that's coming out for for Destiny. Um, it'll be here for Iron Banner and uh, Trials of Osiris. As you guys know, Iron Banner will be coming October 13th. And then three days later, October 16th, is when Trials of Osiris is going to be back with new gear, new weapons, new exciting things. I've said it in a couple of my other videos, but just in case you guys missed those, keep in mind that we will be streaming Trials of Osiris every single day that Trials of Osiris is live, and we will be carrying Guardians to the Lighthouse. Come on over to our live stream. Uh, the link is in the description below. I'll say it verbally, twitch.tv slash realtkogaming. That's our Twitter handle. That's our live stream. Just come connect with us. Just hit that follow button. It doesn't hurt. It helps a lot. And then share with your friends because we're going to be, we carried over a thousand guardians last time. We're going to carry a thousand more this time. 
Um, and we're going to definitely definitely be playing Viewer Iron Banner as well if you guys want to come play Iron Banner with us. Pretty excited about those new weapons. And is I think I saw like a wolf hat. Like a wolf uh, just like skinned and just put on the hunter's head. And I was like, yo, that's going to be pretty cool. I guess it'll be like a wolf hat, hat cloak or something. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you guys are too. What What's the most exciting thing that you guys have seen in destiny year two so far um for me personally uh i love the, i love the raid i really like the raid and i that that was probably my personal favorite thing i'm not gonna lie i haven't played crucible in a very long time but i have been hearing a lot of mixed things about crucible but look at that shot package damage is insane you guys oh man i'm so glad this is gonna get nerfed except for there it really didn't work but yeah, I mean, the raid was great for me. Uh, we helped a lot of Guardians in King's Fall to um, get to the lighthouse. That was pretty cool. I don't know how you guys, uh, what you guys like, but tell me, are you guys, have you guys seen anyone that's light level 310 yet? I have a lot of friends at 309. I'm kind of jealous, but I guess I'll be making my way up there too soon. But, I mean, it's pretty exciting. Not going to lie. Uh, everything that's coming up in this game, uh, especially with the emotes. Oh man, fingers crossed. We I, I heard a lot of you guys in the last video in the comments. You were like, "Oh, they got to bring the Quan." I'm like, "Yo, that'd be pretty cool." They bring the Quan, the Nene twerking. Oh, and the crib walk. Oh, somebody said the crib walk. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> he knows. He knows the truth." So that's gonna be exciting. I know you guys are excited about it. You're pumped. Let me know. Are you guys gonna buy that? Are you gonna? It, it really is. Once again, I said in my last video. I'll say it again. It really is supporting a great company, and it's it's really you know supporting their their costs. And, you know their their budget can't be expanded because they said they weren't gonna sell DLCs, so they have to sell these dance emotes. So with these dance emotes being more successful, that will give them more incentive to not sell the DLC because they'll have enough money and enough funding to further progress in this game. That's just my two cents. I don't know what you guys think. I know a lot of people were getting so mad, like. Oh my god, Bungie. Um, and a lot of people were so pissed that the sleeper simulant isn't that good. And I'm like, dude, man, don't worry, man. But like it's like it'll it'll come. It all comes in due time, guys. You know, Bungie, it's not everything everything new they do is the first time they're doing it too. So it's a learning progress, you know. Be easy on them. It's a great company. They they gave us Halo, you know, and now now they're giving us a, this great game called Destiny going on to Destiny 2 or whatever else is to come. But I hate this game mode mayhem. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know. But uh, thank you guys so much for listening to me. Uh, let me know your guys' two cents, your opinions. A uh, thumbs up in this video helps a lot. A like, a subscribe helps even more. Join the TKO Gaming family. Um, we're on the come up, guys. We're on the come up. we got a lot of cool new surprises coming up, including uh, personal music I make, uh, beatboxing lessons, um, pretty much milestone giveaways. A lot of things coming up. Follow us on Twitter and Twitch. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care and be safe. Peace out.